Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota RAV4 LE. Now the most notable features on this LE is its heated front seats, backup camera, and its lane departure alert. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota RAV4 LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this LE is its daytime running lights. And then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you have your 17 inch wheels. Now the nice thing is you do have integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. And if you take a look up top, you'll see your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black cloth into your seat surfaces and over on your left hand side you're going to see your mirror controls, lane departure alert and all wheel drive lock. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function, Bluetooth mode, select voice recognition, you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now taking a look just at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a look, you have your exterior temperature gauge as well as a distance to empty eco indicator sway warning and then you can also go through your lane departure alert messages and your settings menu with your lane departure alert pre-collision system as well as a couple of other additional features. Taking a closer look now at the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on there which include your hazard lights, you have your traction control on and off and parents if you're worried about your kids not buckling up those uh, seat belts of theirs you don't have to worry because those indicator lights won't actually turn off until they've actually buckled up. Now, taking a look inside the setup menu, you'll see your general voice display as well as a couple of other additional features with your temperature control settings, eco and sport mode with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-ice, your USB and auxiliary input, and your power outlet. Now, it's matted to a automatic transmission, and if we take a look now, just at the back of camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, taking a look on the back of the tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your left-hand side in your rear hatch release, located underneath your Toyota emblem. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have the cargo cover in the back, which is nice, because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, and if you want, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat for yourself, just in case you need more additional space under the floor storage space at the front and then if we take a look underneath here you'll find the spare tire so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located you'll also find the jack and toolkit underneath there as well thank you so much folks for watching this video today if you have any questions please visit us we're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park Alberta Canada Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.